Hey guys, Dan here with another Plex tutorial. This time I'm going to be telling you guys about um, splitting files or having different versions of the same movie stacked. Uh, you might not know what I'm talking about, but uh, let's get into it and we're going to show you. So for this example, we're going to have two movies where I have two different versions of the movie and they're stacked on top of each other. So I have two different versions of The Incredible Hulk and two different versions of King Kong 1976. So, uh, why do I have them stacked and why do I not have them stacked? Well, the reason why I would keep them stacked, um, I'm going to use the Incredible Hulk for this example. Um, there's two versions of this film and the way you can tell that is if I go to more, I, I have a play versions style. And as you can see right over here, I have a 4K rip uncompressed and an uncompressed 1080p file. Now the reason for this, why you might want two different rips of the same movie is because when you get that uh, combo pack, because usually when you get a 4K UHD, they give you the Blu-ray and the 4K. Um, playing the 4K uncompressed is great. If you're on network and you have the bandwidth, play that 4K file. But if you're off network, if you're streaming from a hotel room or from at work or somewhere else, you're gonna wanna play that 1080p version. One, because it's a lot easier on your server because they don't have to transcode. Two, because if you do have to transcode, let's say you have really bad Wi-Fi, it's a lot easier to transcode a 1080p file than it is a 4K file. So um, basically, if you're going to be streaming from uh, off the home network, you're going to be wanting to play that uh, 1080p file. And if you're at your home, play that, 10, that 4K file. And the way you'd play that is if you go to just more and uh, just play version, you just click the one that you'd want um, and whatever the platform equivalent to that is you would do that and that's why I have these two files stacked now um, a reason why I would not have files stacked is going to be the King Kong 1976 and actually a lot of different kaiju movies or different cuts of the same movie you might even want to do this with the um, Justice League the Zack Snyder version or just the movie that has um, different cuts like I have two different uh, Mothra cuts of a movie. But uh, anyway, just going in over here, we have two different cuts of the King Kong movie and they are stacked right now, which I do not want because if I go to play version, which which version's the one I want to play? I, I, I don't know because it doesn't say, even though I have written a note on one of them, it says TV cut and the other one says theatrical cut. Now, if you don't know about this movie, King Kong, it's a pretty long movie. It's got a long runtime, two hours, 14 minutes. But the TV cut adds almost an hour of extra footage to that cut. So you're going to want to separate those because those are two different cuts of the movie that you're going to want to watch. Now, the reason that they added this movie is added that cut is because they were airing it on TV live and they wanted to split it up over two nights. So they want to add a little bit of extra footage to that. So to unsplit it, we're just going to do split it apart because by default, Plex is going to merge those files and stack them on top of each other. So we'll split and there we go. We have two different files. Now they look exactly the same. Which one's which? If that's easy. We're just going to go to edit over here and go to advanced and wait, no, we're going to go to info and we're going to see, okay, this one is the theatrical cut. That means the other one's the TV cut. Now I could just give them two different posters and call it a day. Or if I wanted to, I could change their uh, title. Just right here, I can just do like King Kong TV cut. And I'd hit save and it would add that TV cut to it. But you see it changes the location of it. Um, if you want to do that, that's fine. You can even uh, change the title. We do, uh, you can add the 1976 TV cut. But let's just say you don't like that and you don't want to change your title, which you could always do. You can change it to whatever you want. If you just want to leave it as is, you could do that. And then we'll just, I want to give the TV cut a different poster. And because the TV cut has never been, never had a home media release before, and it's only been on the Shout Factory Blu-ray that it's had that cut released. I'll just give it the Shout Factory artwork. However you want to organize it, um, organizing your collection however you would like is the way to go. I'm probably going to go about, I'm going to do different artworks and different titles because I think that that is going to be the best option for me. So now you see I'm all done with the retitling. I have the 
King Kong 1976, and if I was to float on top of this, it says television cut. And you see it does boast that three hour, 12 minute uh, run time, which is crazy. And then um, the King Kong uh, theatrical cut, two hours and 14 minutes. So uh, that's how you can organize different versions of your films. Uh, there's a lot of different types of movies that have uh, different versions. Um, trying to think right now like the original Gamera movies you have Gamera the giant monster and then the American version uh, Gamera the invincible um, just trying to think of a couple other ones off the top of my head but um, there are movies that have different types of cuts and you might want to separate them because they're different viewing experiences uh, if you have any questions about this whole splitting and stacking and all that stuff Please leave a comment down below. I'll answer any questions. I have a few other Plex tutorials, so if you want to click on those, go ahead. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.